channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe, notification bell, share, like, tell a friend. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing you know, Jamaican delicacy kind of twist. We got some fish head, you know what I'm saying? We get some fish, some snapper, we debone them. You know, we take the head off. Let's take a look at it. So we got some fish head right here. This is one that we debone and take the flesh off it. You know, this is another one. Right here, a little bit of flesh on it as well, so we're going to use that. And this fish right now, what I do, I just wash it with some lemon on it, just to kind of get rid of a little bit of that fishy taste off it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so let's introduce the ingredients to you guys. So it's going to be like a fish soup, not more, a lot of food into it. There's no yam, no banana, but I'm going to use a plantain in here, okay? So we got potato, carrots. Okra for sure, you know what I'm saying? I got some old wheat flour right here. I'm gonna make some spinners and drop into it. I got scallion, onion, thyme, and I got lemongrass, fever grass. I got some pumpkin, got some bay leaf. And you already know you gotta have the all spice, so we have some all spice as well. And we have that garlic. And we have that abinara pepper right here as well too. So we're going to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? VIP style. So I'm going to start cut up some of this stuff that gonna goes in here right now. First, we're going to boil the fish down. And we're going to make a stock out of it. Then we're going to remove all the bones from the stock. And we're going to use the stock to make the soup. So nothing go to waste. Delicacy style, okay? All right, let's get into the veg that's going to go in this pot right now. So we're going to put a small pepper in here. From the get-go, lemongrass from the get-go, I got three bay leaf right here, I'm going to put two in here from the start, the other one going to be to finish, when I'm finishing the pot I'm going to drop that in there, I'm going to drop some thyme in there, all spice in here as well, um, Got some scallion, we're gonna drop some scallion in here as well, okay? You know what? Let's put a piece of the onion in there because it's a lot of onion. Most of these stuff in here is gonna get strained off, so you don't want to put all your seasoning in here, okay? You want to keep some of the seasoning for later. So that's gonna go on the pot, on the fire. I'm saying the pot, on the fire with water. We're gonna boil all of this inside of it, so let's get into it. All of this going in the pot. It look a, like um, a lot of mount, but it's not really a lot. After I cook, it's going to break down to nothing. I'm going to try to get as much of the fish off. I can get like all these little pieces out of it and put it back into the soup. Yeah, this is a big fish. Here. This was like 20 pound. This fish weight. Yeah. So that's that. So now we're going to fill it up with water. Let it boil for like an hour. Say 30 minutes to an hour. You will know when it's ready, when everything like start loosening apart. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna show you what we're all about. We're gonna start cutting all these veggies, okay? So all right, now we're gonna finish up. Um, the fish is over there on the stove right now boiling. So meanwhile, the fish is doing this thing, trying to make the stock. I'm gonna start cutting these vegetables up. You know, if you wanna, down here. So this is a planting. But it look a little bit like it's not good, but the only reason why it looked like this is because it was in the fridge. Normally you put green banana and stuff in the fridge for more than four days, it changed color. But I cut a piece. See that? It's good. So I'm going to cut them in the skin just like that because we're going to cook them just like that. You know? Yeah. I'm going to put them in water because... If you don't put them in the water, it's going to change the color, especially the potatoes, okay? And this potato is going to look like the one piece to be in the soup so we can eat it, so we're cutting them a little bit bigger than normal, okay? Yep. Okay. Pumpkin as well, too. We're going to leave the skin on it because we don't want it to... um 
break down too much when it cooks. So the skin stays. Alright. Pumpkin don't need to go in the water anyway. Change color, but not anytime soon. Alright. So the okros, I got some off my tree. Right here on back. You know we do. These small ones, I'm not even going to want to cut them into. These are some I have before, I think earlier. Keep them in the freezer so they don't get, you know, bad because I got way too much. Only thing with it, the same, you do the same thing, only thing the color is not as much green when you put it in the freezer, okay? So, Kelly, I just want to give it a rough chop. To get peace in your in your food it's gonna be a nice look for you to get a little piece in there. Onion you can cut it whichever way you want to cut it too. Big little or small is fine. You know? Pepper right here. So all these seasoning that I'm putting together right here with these bay leaf is gonna go in like at the end. To give it more flavor, you know what I'm saying? Because all the, the flavor that I put in there already is going to really cook out in that. So I'm trying to double, give it a double seasoning so you can get the flavor at the end. The carrot is good. So when we come back, we're going to show you what the fish look like when it's boiling and when it's like half ready so you can get an idea what to look for and try to break it into show you an easy break when it's cooked. All right? All right, so. This is what we're looking for right here. The fish start breaking down. Remember the big head I put in there? If I can find it. That's a big head start breaking down right there. I'm going to take off all the meat off that. It won't take a little bit of time, but you got to have patience when you're making this. Alright, so. It doesn't even smell like fish. Because all the kind of spice that I put in there, you know what I'm saying? Coffee, coffee or lime leaf, I put um, lemongrass, onion, bay leaf, allspice, you know what I'm saying? Old pepper, you know what I'm saying? Some scallion, some garlic, yep. I'll let it cook for five more minutes, and then I'm going to go break it down. I'm going to show you when I'm breaking it down. First, I'm going to take all the bones out and let it cool off. And then I'm going to go through and pick the flesh from it. Then I'm going to put it back in the stock. Alright? Maybe I'm going to have to strain this as well. Because maybe there's some bone inside of it. This going to be no bone in this one. We'll finish with it. Alright? We'll come back. So this is what we're talking about now. When we say remove all the bones. I'm going to remove all the bones and put them over here. Put all the bones in here. Liquid getting keep any liquid in here gonna go in the bottom of my port back in. Yeah. Then when it's cool off, I'm gonna go through and pick all the meat. Okay, so there's a lot of meat right here. See the meat right there? I'm gonna go through and pick all the meat and debone it when it's cool off. It takes time and patience, but you know, you have it, there's a lot of meat in this one too. And I'm going to save some of this because this is very rich. So I'm going to save a little bit of it. Save a little bit for, you know, making some fish soup another time. You know, I can use it. You know, make some fish. Yep. A lot of flesh, you see that? You gotta take it off. A lot of meat. So I'm gonna let it cool down. Then when I all right. So after we take the liquid out, we take the fish out, we debone the fish, add a little bit of oil. Cause I'm gonna take it back like from basic now. This is some um, green marinade, rosemary, thyme, garlic, 
onion, scallion, all the good stuff. Okay, you're gonna put some carrot in. Right, this is the finishing touch right now. So when these vegetables sweat off, we're gonna add back the liquid to it. Uh, we're sweating all these vegetables to extract more flavor from it. And then if you notice how I cook, I like to spread off my vegetables to extract flavor. And if the fire too high, turn it down so you don't want to burn it. And you want to spread off, okay? So we add in back all spice, old bay, garlic, thyme, onion, garlic, back to the pot, okay? And we'll spread it off. After you spread off, and I got the pepper in here. Okay. After you spread off, we're gonna add the liquid back to it. I'm gonna show you guys what we did with the liquid. The okra is gonna go in the last. Okra over here. It's gonna be the last thing to go inside. So let me show you what we did to the liquid and to the fish. Okay. So this is the liquid right here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use three quarter of it and save like quarter for the next day. And this is the fish. I already deboned it. I just pulled all the bone out of it. And I keep back the kaffir lime leaf. I uh, should say lemongrass. I'm keep on saying kaffir lime leaf. Lemongrass right here. I keep it back, right? So after we're going to dump this back into it when it's almost finished. The fish is ready anyway, so you could put it now or put it later. It doesn't matter whichever way. So, see the brat? The brat looks nice. Yeah, doesn't smell fishy. So I get a lot of seasoning inside of it to take away the fishy thing. Yeah, so we're going to put this off a little bit. Let's add a little bit of salt because you know we can't do anything well with salt. Salt brings the flavor out of it. And this salt is sea salt, so you see me a little extra. And that's too salty the regular iodine salt. So let's put a little bit more grape seed on. Yep. So we're gonna let this spread off. Try to extract some of the flavors out of it, you know. Then we're gonna add the stock in there. Then we're gonna start putting the food inside. All right, so when we come back, the stock gonna already be in there. We're gonna see we start putting the food inside. Gradually, which one goes first, which one goes last. But what I have right now, I think everything can go in at once because there is nothing that takes as long to cook as the other one. Maybe the plant can, but it's cut small so it cook easily. When we come back, we'll get into that. All right, now, so, we're putting in the food. I'm putting in the uh, plantains and the potato right now. You know, this is gonna be like a real simple soup. Not a lot of food in there, but still delicious. The pumpkin and the rest of the ingredients, I'm gonna put it in last cut. Those things gonna cook for like five, six minutes on top. You know what I'm saying? Cause the okra, you can eat it raw. I don't recommend you eat the pumpkin raw either, so. So right now we have the soup, seasoning, vegetable and everything in there right now. Later on we're going to put the okra, you see over here, the okra and the pumpkin. Pumpkin, six minutes should be ready when it start boiled, you know, it doesn't take long because it cook real easy, okay? And the okra, maybe six minutes and it's ready, give off a lot of gum, you know, in there. So when we come back. We're gonna show you what we do best, okay? All right. So, all right, okra time now. Drop in the okra then. We're just gonna go ahead. And we put the fish in there already as well. You know, like, just before we come back and spring, the fish is in here. If you can look, see the fish is right there, in there. Just before we come back and spring. So I drop the okra then, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the plant in, as you can see the potato changing, getting close to ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the pumpkin in. Skin side down, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So within seven minutes, everything's supposed to be ready. I'm not gonna stir it up anymore because I don't want the pumpkin to go in the bottom, 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 okay? All right, so seven minutes. It's gonna be ready, we're gonna show you, we're gonna plate it up. Do what we do. Hi. So welcome back now, um, finishing touch. I didn't show you guys the pot itself, but here we go right here. So my dad normally call this a pakasa. 
Because when you cooked it on and the fish like all loose, it's not like big like that, everything has come together. But we got dumpling in here, we got pumpkin, we got potato, we got carrots, we got onions, we got all the flavor, all the seasoning inside of it, you know. Trust me, it tastes real good. I eat two bowl of it and I was planning to eat another bowl before a night end, but I'm going to bed. I'm not overdoing it. So any question, let me know. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, okay? Hi, thanks for watching the video. We appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, tell a friend, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the above.